So the interest of my lab is on, is on genetics that relates to a, a specific pair of chromosomes called the sex chromosomes. They have special roles in the development of the ovaries um, and the testis and they're important for fertility. They might also hold the key to understanding uh, differences in susceptibility uh, that men and women have to different diseases. The two predominant models we use in the system in, in the lab are uh, the mouse and to a smaller um, level the opossum. I would describe the opossum as a Pandora's box of research. They actually separated from us in evolution around about 160 to 180 million years ago. So they're very very different in terms of their DNA um, sequence but they have many many similarities to us when you actually look at them. Um, and that essentially means that if you can find those rare similarities in the genome, those are um, the genes or the areas of the genome that are really important um, for studying the processes that we work on in the lab. Working with opossums is an absolutely awesome experience. They are um, very inquisitive, very docile and very interested animals. We have a, an amazing um, animal husbandry team at the Crick that have learned about their behaviours, what they like in their diet and the best way to interact with them. One of our most uh, prominent studies a couple of years ago, um, we identified some 150 genes that are expressed in the very early human embryo and in the very early, early marsupial or possum embryo. And those turn out to be genes in other studies that are absolutely critical for the development of the, of the early uh, mammalian embryo. So having that kind of knowledge might eventually lead us to, for example, design better systems for assisted reproduction, for culturing embryos in a dish, which could, for example, help infertile couples.